Purpose. Residents of Keta want sand winning activities along beaches regularized. The Accra Region Police Command invited Shatawale and Stoneboy yesterday for questioning on And on the international front, an explosion targeting a tourist bus injured at least 12 people on Sunday in Egypt. we we'll start with one of our headline stories this morning. And residents of Keta, Flasco and surrounding communities want the police to intensify efforts at arresting perpetrators of ongoing cable theft in the Keta municipality. The nocturnal crime has plunged most areas into darkness and affected businesses. This long trail of electrical cables helped to transmit power to most homes in the Keta municipality. But over the past few weeks, the nefarious act of some unscrupulous persons has cut electrical supply to most residents in the municipality. Cables on this stretch have been cut and removed from the poles with the remainder dangling dangerously. Perpetrators of this act attempted burning the poles to enable them to have easy access to the copper mineral used in transmitting the power to the people. In fact, it's a serious issue. You know, these days, light is everything. You charge your phone, it's for your security, your fridges, and so on. You know, it's a fishing community. And people, they have a lot of fridges in which they store their fishes. Now, their businesses are spoiled. Apart from that, the people are living in fear. 45-year-old local spirit aquatician seller, Doris Damali, lamented, the situation is making her lose her investment. I woke up one morning and realized the lights were off. Upon investigation, I found out that the cables had been cut. I have items in the fridge which are going waste. The assemblyman for Keta Central, James Suklu, said although the case has been reported to the police, there seems to be no end in sight to the act. Although the Power Distribution Service, PDS, in the municipality is making effort at serving affected clients, they want more effort made in dealing with the situation. When it started, we have reported to the police and we take them to the site, they take all the necessary things that they will do, and we make an effort with the assemblymen, the community members, to help us apprehend the people who are taking the cable. But as of now, they haven't made any apprehension. It happened in 2014, we were able to arrest one of the culprits, which has been jailed. So he's now in jail six years. But the current one, we haven't apprehended anybody. Effort to speak to the municipal chief executive of the area proved futile until immediate steps are taken to address the cable theft in the Keta municipality. Some residents will continue to sleep in the dark while their businesses go down the drain. Nana Kwekwedia, TV3 News, Keta, Vota Region. Let's still stay in the Keta municipality where some residents there want sand winning activities along the beaches regularized and managed properly so it can provide jobs for the youth within the locality. Though they agree illegal sand winning is dangerous to life and property, they contend that's the only source of job opportunity aside fishing in the area. Picturesque beauty of the beaches along the Keta municipality of the water region. Its breathtaking fauna and flora is a sight to behold. 
But illegal winning of sun along beaches, if not dealt with, will not only erode the beauty of the beaches, but endanger the lives of people residing along the beaches. Young men on a daily basis mine tons of sun from the beaches along the Aborigin Beach Resort area for 20 cities per mini truck, despite several failed efforts to get them to stop the illegal activity. There was a time like five to six months ago, there was a sea erosion. Like the sun is not being wind from where the sea passes through to the whole area to affect the place. Uh, there will not be a sea erosion. So uh, from there, the, uh, the sea passes through that area and then it's affected from uh, a town called Tetekofa, Tetekofa down to Keta town. One major impact of beach sand mining is the loss of protection from storm surges associated with tropical cyclones and tsunamis. Sand extraction becomes difficult to recognize as the beach readjusts to a new profile after a few storms. Assemblyman for Jalukopa Electoral Area, Do Williams, lamented lack of cooperation and understanding by some residents despite efforts at educating them on the dangers of the activities. We have realized that this sun winning issues going on in our area is actually benefiting few, which at the end of the day, the, the bigger society is losing much. And likewise, the assembly, which or whose uh, jurisdiction these activities are going on. So uh, we have taken it as a a step in the right direction, as in putting up some measures or proposal and presented it to the MCE of the Municipal Assembly so that we can see how best we can bring all those who are involved in these activities together so that there would be some rules and regulations, you know, governing their activities so that at the end it doesn't look like some people are just taking advantage what is not benefiting the assembly. He however revealed effort at engaging stakeholders to find ways of streamlining the activity to benefit the people. It is better for us to now bring all those parties involved in this activity, the stakeholders, the chiefs, the opinion leaders, and what have you, assembly members and down the, the, the MCE, the engineers of the assembly, and all the security agencies, so that we dialogue then we put across the challenges that we can incur or face when these activities are going on. Residents, however, however, are optimistic. A strong regulation and guidelines on how to mine the sand without causing damage will ensure effective harmony and reduce poverty. Away from the Keta municipality, some churches in Accra have begun prioritizing security of their members in the wake of terror attacks on churches in neighboring Burkina Faso, which is also a threat to Ghana. Some church leaders say mounting surveillance on new converts and first-time worshippers is a sure way to protect members. Issue of terrorism dominated the Ghanaian media last week. After a series of attacks on churches, in our northern neighboring country, Burkina Faso. Exactly a week ago, a jihadist group attacked and bombed a church in northern Burkina Faso, killing the priest and five others. Ghana is also said to be on their radar, with churches and Christians being their prime targets. And so today I'm out to find out from some churches how prepared they are in the wake of these threats. Our first stop was at the Action Chapel of the Spintex Road. It is one of the biggest churches in the country, and so security was paramount. Church officials declined to comment on camera, but they were cooperative. The church has detailed security comprising uniformed officers and plain cloth men positioned at vantage places to monitor and ensure the safety of their members. No one attending church has access to the auditorium without being screened, not even the media team. Children were equally subjected to the exercise. 
CCTV cameras were also entered at strategic places. Special security arrangements had been adopted by the children's department. The children have also been taken through training on ways of not falling prey to kidnappers and dangerous strangers. My next stop was at the Faith Chapel Assemblies of God Church at McCarthy Hill. Although the church has a small premises, it is conscious of security issues. This was intensified after the terror threats on churches in Ghana. Apart from CCTV cameras mounted on the auditorium, plain cloth men were also available. Security took center stage during Sunday's service. Most of the times, these terrorist attacks we are talking about, Sir, and Trisha should be there. kings of people, people. when you look at all these things, yes, you mean, you know. it's because there is somebody within yes, sir, so be who is giving us information. Okay, seven o'clock. My take. brothers and sisters, yes, sir, you know. if we can come together, yes, me, Abou, if we can bear the fruit yes, of the Spirit, yes, if that can be our brother, you will know, be able yes, to yes, protect yes, one, one another. General Overseer of the Church, Reverend New Life Zotu said, mounting surveillance on new converts and first-time worshippers is the church's focus. We are security conscious. We monitor their movement. Because this day we see many of some strange people coming to the church, claiming they want to join the church, they want to be born again, and a lot of things happen. So we monitor their movement. We don't introduce them immediately to some things in the church we place a limit on them national security has assured the christian and muslim communities of its preparedness to counter any terrorist attacks on places of worship national security minister albert skandapa advised Ghanaians to be alert and report suspicious activities to his outfit for action as churches are putting in place security measures to safeguard their members, the country also has a responsibility of complementing these efforts. Stanley Nibble, TV3 News, Accra. Away from churches, it has been confirmed that the Department of Parks and Gardens head office land at Cantonment in Accra has been sold to private developers. At least about a third of the land adjacent to the Russian embassy has been cleared ready for infrastructural development. Peter Kwao Adato has been finding out about the state of the national asset. Established in the year 1961, the Department of Parks and Gardening is responsible for the development of the nation's landscape and the preservation of beautification of the environment. It has branches in Ibri, Kumase, Tema, Tamale, Cape Coast, Takrade, Koferija, and Wa. Its core functions are to promote landscape beautification of built and natural environment and collaborate with MMDAs to develop programs for floral beautification of cities and towns, acquire lands to establish public parks and promote ecotourism to generate revenue for assemblies and jobs for the youth. Pursue actions to combat the effect of global warming by promoting a national tree planting campaign involving all stakeholders. Collaborate with the Botany Department of the University of Ghana and other stakeholders to document the country's flora, to develop and maintain a national information facility for sharing digital biodiversity data. Initiate programs to identify threatened economic and ornamental plants for multiplication and conservation. In addition, the department will promote public education on their conservation and importance of plants for human survival. Concentrate on the conservation of threatened plants and restoration of plant diversity, as well as communicating its importance under the Global Strategy for Plant Conservation Program. However, it appears those tasks to ensure the achievement of these goals are rather campaigning against them. Instead of improving and building on what we have, managers are now selling the lands and trees for other purposes. News about the clearing of portions of the head office land here in Accra prompted this reporter into action. At least what appeared to be one third of the entire head office land had been cleared. There are blocks, stone chippings and sand are already on site, confirming the intended purpose. 
Even trees on portions not yet cleared are being logged. There are two streams here. We were told lands beyond the northern stream and southern stream have been sold according to our information. This left only the mid-session which houses the head office administration block and puts the future of the 100 employees in the balance. The director came, four directors, I mean the four directors from here. Nobody sold this land. We are family men. This job you are doing, you are being able to take, take care of the children. You're still watching Morning News. We'll be back shortly. Thanks for staying. Let's continue with our stories. And the Accra Regional Police Command invited Shatawale and Stone Boy. And my colleague Komla Kluche was there to cover it. He spoke to Isamoni on News 360 last night. What I can confirm is that one is here. Shatawale is here. He is the one that I have. I have. I have some evidence uh, that he is here. I've seen. I've seen the father. I have seen uh, the his his guys around. Uh, so that is indicative of the fact that uh, the, he is being held here. I'm not too sure if some boys here. There's not been any work from the police. As a matter of fact, um, I mean it's even a bit difficult for us uh, to even get much details on this. They are not speaking to it. They will not let us even take pictures whatsoever. Uh, there's, there's some, uh, so to speak, they are denying the media from getting access to them as they are in there. We, are, we do understand that there's not too happy about some of the media reports that are going on and that uh, because of that, he does not want to put down his statement whatsoever. Uh, this is the report that has come in from his boys who came wanting to talk, uh, talk us in not to film him or do a story on him. But as it is now, uh, I can confirm actually that he is, he is here. Isa. Right, Komala, you, you've told us that some of their supporters are around. What are you gathering? Are they still proud of what happened on the stage last night or they are expressing regrets? It's, uh, the point is, none of them uh, speaking at all. I mean, the few boys around him who we know uh, have not spoken at all to the media. Even he himself has not spoken. There's not been any statement at all from him. We only gather that he, uh, he was invited by the he got here somewhere around 5 p.m. Uh, he is here together with the father, and then some of the boys are on him. Uh, I'm not too sure their designation and who they are and all that. But uh, they've not spoken. They've not made any word whatsoever. It is assistance. We can also not confirm whether he has put down a statement or not. But from what his boys came out to tell the media a while ago, we are not. Uh, uh, he is not speak, uh, uh, writing his statement because he feels that there's too much media uh, media hype of the whole thing here. Even the police, I can tell you. I mean, he is at the CIA charge office. He's inside the office of the CIA charge office, but the media is not being allowed. This is from the police. They are mm. not allowing us to even film him, even take shots of anything whatsoever, not at all. More on this, and the regional operations officer, ACP Kwesi Fori, spoke on this issue. Let's take a listen to him. Looking at what happened yesterday, it might not be a case of a witness. Yes. yes, as I said, they are being questioned. And if in police language, if the word caution is used, then that means they are investigating. One of the things I think that you can offer is asking the police that work on this matter and bring finality to us. So, what we actually want to get me into is expecting some swift action from the police. So, one thing is looking at yesterday. Um, let me use this opportunity to say that the police were highly professional. Looking at what happened, if we were to effect arrest or moving, 
revolutionary fashion of ensuring immediate action on the ground. One, it could have led to safety. It could have experienced loss of life. But the police handle it so professionally that the disturbance did not go outside the conference hall. And even at an Accra Beast Hotel where fans have gathered, the police quickly de escalated. Went in and de escalated you know, that violence. But let me make it clear that we were able to secure the outside, we protected life and property, and even within, a gentleman who tried to use pepper spray to disable the security personnel and everybody in there was quickly apprehended. And he is even invested. We bring you more on updates in relation to the story in the subsequent bulletins, but we head straight to the international front where an explosion targeting a tourist bus injured at least 12 people on Sunday, mostly South African tourists near a new museum being built close to the Giza pyramids in Egypt. Two security sources said, a third security source said that the bus was carrying 25 South African tourists from the airport to the pyramids area and that four Egyptians in a nearby car were also injured by broken glass. Security and judicial sources said rudimentary device containing nails and pieces of metal had been detonated remotely on the perimeter of the Grand Egyptian Museum, not far from the site of a roadside blast that hit another tourist bus in December. South Africa's foreign ministry says three of its citizens would remain in hospital in Egypt for treatment and the rest would return home. I am Wendy Lai. That'll be all for this morning. New Day continues. One of the great that uh, made it at uh, the uh, awards that has caused uh, so much controversy now. It's not even the, the, the award winners that have been this year. Uh, it's because it's, um, what happened uh, last the, the rowdiness mm. and crass yeah. uh, imbecility <laughs> or stupidity of a few. Uh, just just <laughs> a, a few people that have brought us here. But it's Monday morning. Hey, yeah. look sharp. Good yeah. morning to the right. Yeah, it was a fantastic weekend. Yeah. Um, mm. For those of us, uh, for some of us, of course, uh, we're not too much enthused about the Vajayama Awards. Uh, Say again. I mean, the Vajayama Awards okay. that ended in, in, in trouble. Did you know you were trending yeah. again this weekend? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> and I mean, the key thing is that for us, we welcome two great uh, men uh, officially into the world. Uh, first, it was on a Saturday when we welcomed Nanayao. Uh, sorry, Mensa Brompa, son yeah, of yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Mensa Brompa. Pa 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 Papa's uh, little yes, brother. Into the world. Mm. And then on Sunday, ah. we welcomed uh, Ivan Beresford Parquisi of Blempon Hughes. <laughs> that's, that's his name. It's uh, a sentence. Yes, yeah. Ivan uh, Beresford um, Parquisi of Blempon Hughes. Uh, welcomed him into the world mm. officially uh, yesterday. So it was a packed weekend. Yeah. What messed it up was the awards that I don't know yeah. whether I should talk about it or not. I, I think that I think the charter house has um, you know issued a statement. I've seen another from um, Stone Boys Camp. You mm. know, charter house essentially is uh, apologizing to all the patrons, <laughs> all the key government officials, um, their partners, mm. our visitors, the guests from Barbados, Sony oh, Music. Oh, they were international guests. Yes, they were international guests. I, I mean, see. BET and all those people, they have apologized. Mm. And they're saying that they, are, they have um, they are collaborated with the security entities to ensure that some finality is brought to this. We we'll find out what the real facts are and where, uh, you know, the law must uh, they ask must whose ask must be God must be I God, see. but then they are also promising that subsequently security, you know, will be tightened mm. as well. some of these uh, the pictures on your to, screens to give a real experience, mm. and, and I, I felt very sad for Charter House um, last Saturday. Sorry, that guy is he a boxer? Uh, that's, CD. Blue, yeah. that's CD. That's oh, CD. That's Stone okay. Boy's uh, manager. It so looks like a boxer. He was issuing a few blows there, mm. but but I felt sad for Charter House. Um, last Saturday, because if you look at the 
quantum of investment that they had put yeah. put in their uh, months and months of preparation, getting the best that they can to celebrate 20th anniversary of a scheme that started, you know, as a tiny little creature. And you will have such a sore bite to end a tasty meal. I think that, <coughs> I think that you know, we, we didn't apply reason. Yeah, Whoever the, started the brawl didn't yeah. apply reason. You, you see, the, for me, there's one thing. I, I, I like what is happening to Ghana's music industry, where these young guys are, are making it big. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you take a look at what goes into what they do, the uh, shooting of videos, it, it has given young guys a lot of opportunities. A lot of people are uh, uh, earning incomes, livelihoods from mm. what is happening to our music industry. Look at the young boys you see, the, the kiddies, the promising, uh, is King Promise, yeah, King the, Promise. what's the other Bobby one? Eugene. Name, These guys would have been perhaps roaming the streets without this. So fantastic. But you see, the key thing is that the, the, the likes of Rocky Dawuni mm. did not take Ghana to the international market by, by through violence. Exactly. I mean, uh, Osibisa. Afromosis. Yes, Afromosis, Osibisa, and the rest. Ebo Taylor. Ebo Taylor. They, they went to the international market, not through violence. Mm. And so when you have these young ones who are picking up, okay, and they engage in such act, for me, it is worrying. I am not a fan of the kind of music they play. I mean, right. Vintage Bright will play Senior the Don't Call, Amachi Dede, Amachi Dede, Pabobo, Kujuen Tree, Daddy Lumba, I mean, KK Kabobo and the rest. That's what I will play. Right. If you find him play one of these songs that these young men do, then of course I have I, I have a Vista in my in my car, right. and so I'll be playing that. But it, the industry is is really doing great. Mm. What we do not need is what happened uh, last night. Is it last night or no, Saturday night? Saturday, uh, Saturday. No, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. It happened so, so okay, yeah, it was yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, early morning. That is Sunday. what we do not need. Because <coughs> for me, what we need is to put what they're doing on the international uh, platform. And, and sadly, the BBC covered they you were know, there. Yeah, the, the violence yeah, that it. erupted. And uh, Jedu Bleambule, mm. uh, Kim of Sibiguadu, himself has said that, look, the, the boys are copying wrongly the hip hop point. and dance mm. culture. And it's brought, I said this about four years ago. I said, look, the way these guys are going, if we don't take care, we may have violence. And that's exactly what it is, four <sighs> years down the lane. So when you talk, people tell you, oh, it's dance all, it's part of the culture. Says who? <laughs> Says who? So what happened last Saturday was akin to a caterer who, who has been uh, contracted to cook some sweet jollof right. to be shared. And then somebody suddenly comes up and puts fine sand in, it. in the jollof. You've ruined it. Yeah. No matter how we try to wash it, you messed it up. Uh, so, I, I, for me, I'm outright ban for the two of them. Well, well, that, but, that's, but, that's but, what I think. But would it solve the problem? Well, I mean, I, to a large extent, it will. Okay. To a large extent, it will. I mean, you have a fan base. You've called them whatever. Mm. What I fear is that people would actually go out onto the streets and start fighting. Because mm. I am for Stone Boy, I am for Shaka. Pretty much the same way <laughs> we have see. seen with the political parties, <laughs> where see. people cannot disagree based on ideas and <laughs> in intellectuality, <laughs> who, but they will resort to who, violence. Who, who, who will fight for Nana Kwame and Pedro? Well, maybe <laughs> Patapizi. <laughs> I see. But honestly, Sco Sco look, Sco Johnny, are awards, you see, are awards are only to encourage you to, to, to do your best. Mm. It does not necessarily mean you are the best. Yeah. Okay, look. Even the nomination yes, is, is great it, honor. Look, these are a group of people, five, ten, at, at most 20 right. Ghanaians, who sat down and said that this song is the best song of the year. Right. Don't forget, we have about 30 million Ghanaians. Right. Uh, three million, I mean, sorry. Is it 30 or 30? 30, 30, 30, 30 million, million Ghanaians. Right. Now, can you say that that committee that sat down and said uh, Stoneboy is best or Shata is best? They are wiser than the, the rest of us. Well, 30 there, there are three. People. There are three strands of yeah, no. uh, the decision. There, there's the board. There's the academy, and there's but, a public they, vote. Are they and, and the public the, vote. Are they wiser than the 30 million? Well, but Ghanians. the public will have an opportunity. The, how many to of, vote. of the 30 million Ghanaians voted? Well, let me let me cite a classic example. Well, well I mean, it, to, be, to, be, to be fair, the mm. sample size, yes. which would be the board, the academy, and the uh, what do you call it, the public vote, Great. will constitute. The, the, the totality, the of, totality of what but, the, but the argument I'm making okay, is that so that should not get into your head to mean that you are the best. Right. It is only to encourage exactly. you to, 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 to do more. Mm. Look, uh, who in Ghana can deny 
mm. last year that Patapas One Corner was the most pop was not the most popular song in Ghana. Right. But the committee said it was not. Mm. So for me, it is those who are consuming the music who who knows what is best. Right. So this boy should not fight over. I have won that. I have won that. It is not. And entirely to say that you are best. You are, you are it's best. only to encourage exactly. you to put up your best. Exactly. I, okay? I think, I think that I think that moving forward, we need to have, you know, and I was sad that when the Chatterhouse in the run up to the VGMAs organized the music business mm. fora for the musicians, most of them didn't turn up. No. So no, they don't. assumed that uh, they already are there when you have people from the BET, from uh, MTV from the I mean all the international guys who have seen it they have heard it they've done it and they have the criteria to make sure that you you rise to the top they didn't turn up they didn't turn up to to learn some of these things so international best practices are lost on them mm. and that's a sad thing if you want yeah. to go global with your music you can't be doing the same things every now and then and hope that well, things will look the way they're, they're Johnny, this yeah. morning, uh, as, I, as I, I, I got up, um, I, I, in, in as much as I'm not so enthused about the award, mm -hmm. at least if nothing untoward had happened, I would have known which song was the best song, Absolutely. which artist mm -hmm. was declared the best True. Uh, uh, artist True. and stuff like True. that. Artists but this morning, all of that. all of that is lost. We're going to talk about the brawl that yeah. happened there. Yeah. So you see... The this conversation is about what happened. Unfortunately, there. it's and taking the shine. It's of, taking the shine out of, of the. Of That's the, the problem. It's, 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 a, it's a sad one, okay. and I, I I believe that the police must deal with this matter yeah. uh, as much as they should. Okay. Let me say a special good morning to Cleo Dosia. Uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Good so morning are to you. you. And, uh, we, we know where you are this and, morning. And uh, yeah. also a special thank you to everybody who turned out yesterday. I turned up yesterday to support yeah. uh, us to Christian and baptize mm. or bring pong uh, Hughes. To, yes. So thank Charlie, you very much. Be, be prepared to pay. I hear why when you are writing names for candidates, yeah. if you, yours is that lengthy, mm. you, you pay. No, no, we'll, we'll have to abbreviate it to like <laughs> just this V C uh, R A C. Ivan. So we'll do. Ford. So we'll do I B P K O Hughes. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. It's a smart okay. way to, to have a Good morning. <laughs> you and your husband on Saturday you treated us to fantastic yeah. uh, reception there too. So uh, now she has again. she has two boys. Yes. She couldn't uh, handle Papa. Papa yeah, is a storm. It's overthrown. And uh, it's not a turn of Nanayo. Anyway, uh, but <laughs> last last Sunday, Senior Bright as well. Hmm. Samini did amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ethia did fantastic. See? And it was Samini's music mm. that calmed the storm. And we're not talking about Yeah, I mean, Samini, Samini was ever great because at the time when the MCs were trying to tell everybody, settle down, you know, go back to your seats and all that, nobody was because everybody was moving around. Then Chatterhouse, I think, did the most impressive thing and the wisest thing. They pushed Samini on stage mm. and then he got everybody dancing. And quickly, people forgot what, what, what had happened, happened. And, and the show went on. So, big up Samini. And for me, that's a big endorsement that he's more matured, he's, he's senior, and perhaps he is a lifesaver. Is my level a high life song? My level. Mm -hmm. uh, if you if you put one and two together, it is. And you can you can you can get the two four time in it. It is. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's it's yeah, just my, like my years are only for. Okay. So the other uh, one, uh, Wally, that's Jama. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not. Right. Yeah. It's not dance all. Well, like my years are only for. So I don't know which song is high life. Which so you are just listening. Uh, I have my doubt if my level is a high life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's hit the streets and rant about the VGMA fallout. It happened over the weekend. Great show it was from red carpet all the way. And by the way, kudos to uh, Giovanni and Sika. But the shine, as oh, yeah. you know, was taken away from it because of a brawl on stage. Guns, pepper spray, punches, and more. Let's hit the streets.
Antonio. Good morning and welcome to Daily Rants here on New Day. My name is Josh Quinn. We are live on DSTV channel 279. And this morning, we are talking about the fallout of the 20th edition of the VGMA. There was a scaffold between Shatawale and Stoneboy on stage when the reggae and dancehall song of the year was mentioned. You wouldn't know why Stoneboy took a gun to stage and why even Shatawale had to go on stage when you know, Stoneboy was taking the award. And it has brought some lot of controversies in the country. That's what people are really talking about at this very moment. And so we want to have a discussion, dissect this very issue. And this is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Stoneboy, a disgrace to Ghana reggae industry. What's the one? Stoneboy. Stoneboy, a disgrace to reggae industry. Sure. That is reggae dancehall. Why? What's the one? Or the Ethiopia state is no, against the law. Mm -hmm. Yes. And at Ethiopia, so... No, no, but the Ammunition Act, and it's a, if it's a registered gun, what do you call public? You should have the consent from IGP. Mm -hmm. why, why would you know say that? Yeah, call yes. IGP, honey, and be sent to be sent. And only say to trust them or by the internet, or the Ethiopia bar, honey, no, no. Ah, but so you can't protect yourself anymore. Our country, man. Mm. You can't protect ah, yourself. Ah, How can you carry gun? Gun? Wherever you go. I mean, but this is, I love, this I, is a musician yes, whose wife yes. was stabbed uh, last year. Oh, Nichi. Into you go all out to support that or to protect yourself. Okay, fine. That one, that one is there. What you just said. Mm. But I love Stoneboy a lot. Mm. But the fact that he brought the gun out, yeah. I didn't support that. Say me, BSA, KB, I'm not going to shoot you. Then you see it. Then you see it. When I was watching the video, I, I saw one guy whispering something. Mm -hmm. And then, man, I could fast that gun. Mm. Though Shata didn't do what by going to the stage because nobody invited him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And stage in the there. At that moment, the stage belongs to. Yes. So as Okoye no, or someone can say at least our bodyguards and other people around. So with my oh, the unfair here here is for beam beam nation or whatever. So kindly go back or something. You cannot, you know, go and then bring a number of people over there. That means everybody was feeling secured, but you know that very moment. Your soldiers were around. Your police were around. Once I saw bodyguards were around. Into protection, men be them here. Mm. Well, one thing they say, and I saw my sister, and I want you next to you. Oh, and today I said, They are awaiting the pen or who so soon are calling it now. So, uncle, it's all fine with so. Stoneboy, Nanyamana, Sema, Odin, and Ran, and the manager, and the same Kutupa. He said, When we said, Fine, shut and then the squad, but I didn't see that Okoy or the young Koshe video, Nissi. I'm over no Opia or Mo. Yesterday I was there. No, no, but at that moment, the stage was full. That is the biggest thing. I said, We want you on the stage. We don't want you on the stage. That is what I was saying. Who's the person for saying? May I say, Okoy, 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 and see that a young Angasa because last year in Sisa, shut a full stage, we be on Twitter. But this time around, the debate didn't even match Tomboy at Twitter. Since we be new, of feeling insecure that that moment because maybe say maybe they they say blaming you. Hey, VGA men Angasa. Say I'm more allowed more be full stage. Oh, but what's the first time for award? Some is somewhere we need awards, Sana, shut up, call. 2015. Yes, we need Yes, I don't know what's going on. Listen, as you said, the yeah. kind of, uh, there was a little problem, problem between them. Between them. Fine, that one is there. But in the case that this is a national thing, yeah. ah, security all around. Have you seen? So if so, or ba, and put us in any stage by then. I didn't know more or more guy this don't buy those people around the security and all those things. Oh, he found a walk on other busy because at that moment nobody invited him. 2015, he did it. And Stoneboy said, This award is not for Stoneboy, but it's for the entire reggae dancehall. Anybody doing reggae dancehall. So, 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 why would Stoneboy do this now on the stage? So, the video. The way I grow up, you can see your fun I grow trust. And I say I send me a fun trust. I say your friend, your man, pay him from me. Because problem not about fans anymore. Yeah. Maybe I. 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 Maybe
so be fum a kuma yam fumunya. Do say so more and so art ye. But shut and so art ye. Yes. But, but me, my problem is that Ghana or Chin was staging is totally wrong. And I'm saying I arrested him. Oh, oh, my arrest him. Yes. 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 So the arresting. Yes. It's against the law. No, I don't think so. What is that guy? No, no, no. no. And yeah, how how would you 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 know, okay, now, how would you know? Now, how would you know? Who the potato now they call? Are they gonna be punished? Okay, okay. Well, what if he says, hey, oh, yeah, we're afraid it's a toy gun? So, hey, a toy, 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 toy gun. How can you be sell? Hey, a toy gun. How can you be telling me, say, a bullet? No, I'm just saying, they be, I mean, you can't say, so, no, so, I have bullets in there. How does he know? Say, so, my bad, I'm gonna say, a toy gun. Okay. And then you have to say, 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 you have to Blow my name, we said, we so said, what, what was the okay. intention? Okay. He was okay. going to repeat history because he has done it before. He was going to repeat history with his people. With his people. Who knows what? Maybe they are going to stand behind for Sata to meet B. Let me come in here. Sir, I'm saying, hold on, they're planning here. Oh, that'd be that'd be that'd be. But I was, me, me, me. If Avin, if truly say, Shetawale Echo, say, or call, call, and let's see, Stone Boy. Then I think say, then I say, I'm more more guided at that moment, you know. I'm more busy and more quiet, so I'm saying, I'm a new rap stage, you know. That is where I'm from. So no more, no security, no. And a mass have problem, you know. I'm not a big. Neither am I. You are shut up, keep quiet. No, I don't know. They won't come on the court. But 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 look at this. Mr. Avin, where is that? Where is that fan? Yeah, the fan, no. When. It will be announced that we can't tell VJ me. I'm putting out a professor come from home. And the other person in cancer or born in the Nedom, Mr. Ramuse, Mushe Bidre, we are among committing Kakana, Mama, who we say we are eager. You are person who the artist of the year, no, and they will say, Mina, Mama Smo, Eke. No, 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 we are not eager to know who is the artist of the year. We are eager to know, sir, shut any stone. I'm all boom. Yes. See, that is it. And then the answer, President, Mr. Ramuse, my advice to Mr. President is that. On share, on on my charter house, Emma on Mumbum says charter house ain't me ma security ma on on dissolve on group no on on dissolve no. Frankly speaking, a year car I on co year crack crack crack. Say what share program get to say a year say a man in there share. Now say baby say to me I go so I go and hand me fire music one. And then no more more about in the back. Say year car they did kind any question go do to echo stage so any year one. And they just do two. A woman so being me saying to call on a shot and tell me to what so now open. A be my I'm saying we are all caught so now we attack. But if we are not able to say that we are all caught, then so mo me niawe di mapa. But any time say some relationship, any type of thing, you know, obi adu is different. And as script now on is very poor, bad, 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 bad. So big program like this. Now say when we so obi ask sorry on co stage, so with a lot of people dinner. That's why she's trying to let you be on any part with her. So. So of course, so I'm not sure that they would prevent him. No. So yeah, mo they say what they want. Yeah, boy, in this one they win is stone boy. Stone boy, sorry, I all go. Oh, we do stage in this one. What they want? What they put in? Oh, the casa. Now what sorry? Now we ba. Imagine, yeah, 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 we are then you be feeling. Adepa, adepa, why you be there? Yeah, we are no more. No, I know why you be there. Adepa, why you be there? Why you be there? But so, the BNC. Yes, the BNC. I know you can say, come now, so we all go. All calling say, but no Kwan and Nipa Mirubi nature. Obi no be doing adjunct bone. Okay. But also, the number of people are now on your Muko stage. Hey, I'm not doing adjunct. 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 Hey, I'm not Eh, eh, you're wrong. Make us say, eh, you're wrong. Say bullet, say bullet, say bullet. 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 Do I say no? Why you be that last year? Why you be that? But we be the member still more accurate because we feel insecure. So in the first place, wrong say. We need to be constant in our work. But we be now. It's a chance. We be what actually. 
It's it's Ghana music and as I'm saying, stage, you yeah, yeah, anything there on stage. We be to meet Kari, we know the coast stage. We be time we know the coast stage. We be time we know. So we don't we don't we don't care what is going on on the stage. Oh yeah. Now no, I have to my VJ. I say, San Omo many years. I present the program. No cost one, no cost one. I say, or you just be be part. It's about time. It's about time. Some boy in Saturday, you say, I'm more respectful. No, I'm more solvent. I'm more issues. Let me share interview be a cost. Who's here? Shut up! Let me on six stone boy. Hey, you niya. Aba. Or see a ninja, son, interview Nami Shane at the YouTube Pacoche. Or see a ninja, no Busa is in the main, or see a stone one auntie, any auntie, in the Omi and Yama, while Kotu and Mokra catch on the same. And I don't know about this, or Mutu, or see Omusa, Omumi and Nunim. Anna, my men say, where she will mark that, but shut up on the side, bro. Omunia friends are going to moon, or moon genius. Shut up, my shut up, my I've been you. Yes, I have been so much. I've been in Tibet. I've been in Tibet. Also, Omuya and Yanum, ain't he like I have sometimes called Tin Sam before more about this? I saw me and Luka. I never said you solve this. Oh, and Tabia, and your family issue. And I'm going to be a shut up, my dear. The truth of the pain. Who will be a pain? This is something that should not really happen that, again. That, and yeah. so, you know, the discussion continues on our social media platforms. On Facebook is TV3 Ghana, and on Twitter is a new TV3. Thanks for watching, and have a good morning. The final this morning says accidents 696 killed in three months. Uh, that uh, represents 17.57% increase over first quarter of 2018 figures. The finder has that story. And uh, Ken Crunchy sues general legal counsel over mass examination failures. I'm sure you know that story. Daily graphic, Shatawali, stone boy arrested. There are photographs here, uh, a story that you already know, uh, the fallout from the awards uh, last night. And then Ghanaian Times, government releases 2 million Ghana cities as scholarship for 2018 national best farmers' children. Uh, those are some of the newspapers I have with me this morning. My guest to do the talking, a member of parliament for the Futu constituency, a member of the NPP, Honorable Alexander Fiyomakin, is here. Good morning. All right. I hope you are doing great. Mm -hmm. We on. Okay, grateful for your time. Um, let's start the conversation this way. You, your constituency is a, a fishing one. Now, um, this, the, the sea has been shut, uh, uh, literally. And how are the fishermen there? Uh, even the women who engage in uh, fish business fairing? Well, thank you. Um, we were able to engage them mm. proud to the final decision. For the women, we were able to group them. And uh, Maslock has come in with uh, some facility mm. to help them get their eyes uh, uh, the one they get normally from, uh, they call it ice, you know, the, right. the, the frozen ones mm. from Tema. So they'll continue to uh, trade instead of being idle. Tomorrow we are meeting uh, the fishermen from Second D, you know. We have over 2,000 people in uh, big canoes in Second D. We are meeting them and their wives mm. with some intervention. Um, those who ply their trade along the coast, especially the bakers, over the weekend, were able to get them flour, sugar, and margarine so that they continue to do their business. So they're not going to be idle. Um, those at Warababa and um, Akosia village, uh, the dragnet fishermen, will also get some support. So we hope that within this month, um, instead of they being idle yeah. and there's an alternative uh, job for them, we train some mm. in um, um, granite paces. Some were able to get some other financial support. So I believe that um, within the month, they would have seen some intervention coming their way. And it wouldn't be the way initially they, they thought initially so that they will be either hungry to do. and not have anything to do. The good news again is that 
Uh, Efutu was among the communities that government identified for the construction of the landing beach. And we can say with pride and joy that it is not just a paperwork. The facility has been approved. Contractor has come to Winneba with a consultant. Uh, government officials came in and the disbursements have been done. So in June, the contractor is going to start work. It's a 16-month uh, project. It has a, a market, a modern, fish mar uh, a modern fish market, a coastal, a hospital, and a, a KG. And uh, within the period uh, of construction, at least our artisans will get jobs. My joy again is the emphasis on local content, mm. that the contractor has been told that the locals must be fully engaged. So at least those who have their steel benders, uh, blacksmiths, uh, carpenters, masons, are all going to have the opportunity, drivers, because a lot of trucks will be uh, moving up and down and all that. And mm -hmm. of course, those uh, who have their properties, there's going to be... To, to rent them out. Of course. Okay. You know, okay. So, um, Efutu has every good reason to, uh, to celebrate. Mm. And I'm encouraging our youth to take advantage of the opportunities and then uh, make a living. Uh, in the past, the cry had been that there are no jobs. We have no jobs. We are idle. We try to engage the university because it's the only institution that uh, our people depend on. We try to engage them to at least set up some youth, get about 10 of them, support them with entrepreneurship, uh, um, uh, some contract and all that. But that has just uh, uh, failed because uh, I think the university mm. authorities have their own plans. But this is another opportunity that I think that my people would have to take, take advantage, advantage of. In the seventies, we had the Pomazi Pottery, Mankwazi Fisheries. We had KB Annan Company, AC Aqua. Those were entrepreneurs, mm. and we they were able to employ a lot of our people. And the government interventions that created jobs. But today, the focus is on the private sector. Government is not going to establish a company. So I continue to encourage the the young men mm. that take advantage. I am a businessman. I am opening up opportunities for them. Taxi work and pay, we've introduced it, it's working. Take advantage and work. We're supporting a lot of them to engage in supply, running training for them. So I think that so far so good. I'm very optimistic. And the real estate business which I started, uh, you can now live in Winneba and uh, work in Accra and return. One, mm. one and a half hours, I'm sure uh, uh, it won't be like uh, uh, going from Pram Pram, <laughs> okay. even Pram Pram to Accra, people let, are let me introduce you. So, if we do to yes. Accra, wouldn't be a big burden. <laughs> Sam George is the MP for <laughs> MP for Ningo Pram Pram, a member of the NDC. Good morning, I'm Sam George. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. My gosh, gosh. Okay, uh, your constituency is also a, f a, a fishing one. Uh, the, are the fishermen and women in fishing doing now that is uh, the sea is shut? Let me say very good morning to mm. yourself and my senior. Um, Honorable Afeni Makin and the viewers. I, I I listen to him. I mean, basically what he's done is to uh, launch his campaign on your platform <laughs> and speak about personal intervention. Campaign for 2020 or where? Uh, no, his internal primaries. Ah, oh, oh, okay, I see. You know. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the close fishing season was mm. not introduced by the member of parliament mm. or by parliament. It was introduced by government. Mm. And so I would have expected to hear systems that were put in place by government that cut across the entire coast from Aflau to Dixcove. You understand me? That is when you realize that government has been proactive. Government is thinking. But the truth and reality of the case is our fishermen are struggling and people are having to fill in the gaps. Members of parliament. He's in government. I mean, it's easy for him to... Uh, raise resource because it's in government and all of that. 
But what about constituencies where the members of parliament are not in government and have no access to some of the kinds of logistics that being in government makes you avail gives, make, makes available to you? These fishermen, the fishmongers, they've been left to their fate. And again, I keep saying that, look, the, the whole idea of a closed fishing season is not a bad policy initiative. I mean, I'm, I'm being straight up with this. It's not a bad policy initiative. However, the problem of this government has always been implementation. You want to ask yourself, we've closed the fishing season now. The fish that we, we say we want to protect, are they currently in Ghana's waters? Because don't forget that the, the fish is not stationary. The fish is migratory. They migrate through our waters. They come all the way from Liberia, along the Gulf of Guinea, mm. okay, all the way down through Ivory Coast into Ghana, go to Togo. So if you speak to the fishermen, and I come from a fishing village, my granddad was a chief fisherman, but I have cousins who are still fishing. When you speak to them, and you speak to the fishermen, the chief fishermen, they'll tell you the challenges. They'll tell you that, look, this is the wrong time. Because you, you, want, you want to protect the fish because you say you, you need them to spawn. Right. When is the spawning season? For which particular type of fish? All of these technical details need to be had. What, what particular type of fish are we trying to protect? Where, when does it spawn? When is it within Ghana's waters? Do they spawn within Ghana's waters in the first place? These are questions that the ministry has failed to answer. Look, if we want to protect fishing, yes, the artisanal fishermen, and, and, and there's quite a number of them, okay? In one community in my constituency, you could have close to 500 people who are artisanal fishermen in one area, and in other places as many as 2,000. Mm. And, and you can imagine the number of lives that are affected across the coast of our, of, of our country. The ministry has no, no care for what their issues are. They tried to introduce it last year. The fishermen kicked against it. And within the period that they, they tried to do it last year and this year, there's been no serious engagement with the fisher folks to explain the issues to them and understand from their own side of view what their issues are. All that we've seen has been a change that it was supposed to be in August. The fishermen said it was very close to uh, Homo War. And so because of that, you won't get the chili. Let's ask ourselves. You don't get chili at this time. Chili really doesn't. This is not the bumper harvest season for chili. The fish we call chili. This is not the bumper harvest time for it. It's in August. That's why we use it for Homo War. So if you just change the date and you are not minded about the Chinese trawlers, the pear trawling. That is the real bane of fishing in this country. That is what is depleting stock. I mean, I don't know any of the artisanal fishermen. I can certainly speak for Ningo Pram Pram. I don't know about any of that do dragnet fishing. None of the artisanal fishermen do that. They don't go and sweep the sea, the ocean floor. It's a, it's a foreigners who are in our country who are doing this. They can't do this in their jurisdictions. They don't do this in China. They don't do this in Japan. But you have all of those fishing vessels in Ghana licensed and given permits by our Ministry of Fisheries to conduct the, 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 the kind of business they're doing. And we're not, we're not clamping down on them. We're rather clamping down on our own artisanal fishermen. I'm not saying artisanal fishermen are without blame, but I'm saying that if you want to really curb this, you look at the bigger menace and let us put it on record. Government has no intervention policy for the fisher folks, for fish, fishmongers in this season. Absolutely nothing. They've been left to their fate. Go, look, let your cameras, don't go all the way to Ningo Pram Pram or Ewutu and let's state for the record. And let's state for the records. Living in Pram Pram and coming to work in Accra is easier and more eco friendly than coming from Ewutu. <laughs> you don't need to do that this time. You don't burn so much diesel <laughs> and petrol. Your carbon I, footprint I, is lower. I guess it was but, help in uh, dealing with the traffic <laughs> from. It's, an, uh, it's a fantastic place, both to Ningo and both uh, Ewutu. The, 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 the traffic situation is what perhaps will worry people. Yeah, I mean, but, but I mean, today, 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 my brother can talk about living in the Futu and coming to Accra thanks to President Mahama. If President Mahama had not constructed a Kaswa interchange, <laughs> which his government at the time in opposition <laughs> said was overpriced, you, you, you would have done would have, the one and a half hours he says is the travel time. You would have done that alone at just Kaswa, you know. But but ultimately, let us establish the fact that the the NPP administration especially in this fishery sector, led by Honorable Afole, the Minister for Fisheries, has failed to engage, has failed the fisher folk because they've been left to their fate. Like I said, let your cameras go to Choco, let them, let them go to Jamestown, let them go to Teshi. 
her own constituency, where she comes from, where, where she's MP for Nungwa, Crow, go there and go and talk to the fisher folks and see if they are happy and see if they've not been left to their fate. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Um, I, I thought we were moving on. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, you, 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 go ahead. Let's go conclude ahead. on the issue of the close season. The close season. With all due respect, well, I don't expect. He, he says he's all for it. No, yeah, well, but uh, all for it, but, you know, and then but you, you, <laughs> you destroy your all for it. Um, well, he's a politician, opposition, he wants to come into government, but I expect him to put out the facts as they are and be as fair as possible. One, last year, I was part of the team that engaged the fishermen. Mm. The chief fishermen, their only concern was the short notice. But they themselves agreed that we needed to have this close season. So let the records reflect that the government agreed to you know, suspend the, the, the program because the fishermen were of the view that, look, they need to educate their people. They need to be engaged them all. So for you to come and suggest that the minister has failed, with, with all due respect, is just below belt. Two, um, some should not create the impression that NPP government within the last two years has done nothing on the, on the issue of the needs of our fishermen. No. In their time. You said the, no. the, the, the closed season. I think no, no, I'm going to, I'm, I'm addressing Except it. Except you mean, want to uh, go back. Yeah, to, but uh, because, you see, okay. the closed season, you said there was no engagement, which is not true. Where the fishermen themselves? No, no, he yeah, said there was no, that was last year, right. Let's, let's restrain the fact well. Mm. That was last year, and government suspended it. This year, have you heard any noise? No. Because there was a continuous engagement. They were well educated. They themselves, a consensus was, was, was reached on when to do this. So at least be fair to government. Be fair. We also agree that the depletion is just too much. They themselves say it. Now you are trying to say that not, not much thinking went into the decision to close the season. I mean... I mean, you, you are saying that there are in, no technocrats in, in at the ministry and all that. In reference to what the would do at the which, end, within this period, that, that's what he said. Of course. So, but if you merely get up, me, when I was in opposition, I engaged government officials. Let me give you an example. I said, Tekpe, I would go to him. Situations like uh, fish, fishermen, they are neat. I would go to Shariaite for Agbo Moto. I would go to her. I wouldn't say because I'm in opposition. I will go and say, so I remember at a point... I, Auntie Sherry said, Alex, write a letter that you are going to guarantee with your common fund. And I did. So it is not enough to say that because you are in opposition, you have an MC or a DC in your constituency. Engage him, sit, work together. If there is mass lock that you want to tap, say that you've made the effort and it has failed. Or that because you are a politician, uh, you are in opposition, that you were not supported. So if you create the impression that government has allowed people to their faith. That is not correct. Because in opposition, in opposition, I took advantage of the opportunities and I engaged my colleagues in government and I got results. Okay, so... So, 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 so it is, the impression should not be created that our fishermen, our fishmongers have been left to their faith. Okay. That impression let, let should me, not be... I, I think you were trying to be, suggest that be created. there is no... Uh, uh, a policy draft from government for all the fishing areas of the country. He said, no, for his instance, yours is just you, the MP, no. having uh, have put in some measures for your constituency. But he's asking that, is there a program for, let's say, from Teshi all the way to uh, Azim for okay. fishermen so from me, government? So, That's the question. So no, no, when no, government, no, no, let me answer his question. Okay, okay. You know, you know, we've not finished. We've okay, not finished. No, no, no. Sam, let me finish. Sam, you have noted Sam, don't it worry, let note me it. Let, let's then have, a, let's have a very decent debate this morning. Okay. Right. My point is, we have sufficient intervention programs in place. It is for us to tap okay. into it. So, SIF, I gave you an example mm -hmm. when I was in opposition. Situations like this, I'll go to Setepe. I'll write. He said, Alex, write. And 
there is always some contingency. They will approve, give you some 100,000 through the assembly. Then you do your intervention. Mm. All right? Now we have mass lock there. My question is, a situation like this, what did, what did I do? I wrote, got the groups, and last week we did it. We monitored and realized that we need this. I'm saying that when the systems are already in place, it is for you to tap into it. If you do, and because you are an NDC, you are told that because you are an NDC, you can't have it, then you have cause to complain. If you now say that, oh, government should now reintroduce a system of mitigation, and I'm, then I don't get a so point. Your, your point is that there are enough, enough of measures course, just that take these fishermen can take advantage. Into. And I've given you an example okay. of, of Arbo Motors. I've okay. given you an example of Arbo Motors. Last, in 2015, 2016, there was an intervention through the assemblies. All right? Mm. I didn't just sit to say that I'm in opposition. I wrote. Though my fishermen did not pay and I was in trouble, though, but I wrote. And I got it for them. I took the Admiral Motors there. So make the effort rather okay, than right, right. Okay. rather than going the normal political. Okay. It will be like the way you said you say you implement free teachers. Implement land let us see. When it is implemented, you complain. You said the places were crowded, schools were crowded. Now double track is introduced, you still complain. When you talk about Medina Adenta <laughs> over a footbridge, okay. you complain. It is done. I, I then mean, now you say the architecture is bad. <laughs> so what exactly is that? Well, so right. Let me get Hello, Sam George to come. So he says that there are enough measures. Have you tapped? In everything he said, mm. you see, one, he has not been fair to me because he's not asked or done his checks to find out if what he's suggesting has not been done. Okay. Now he's bringing us to that position. He said, I didn't want to personalize this, but let's, let's, let's have full disclosure. No problem. Okay. Let's go. Let me state for the record that as member of parliament, I have written to the minister on several occasions. The minister has challenged me to go to court instead of engaging me. That's the difference between Sharia Ite and your minister. What has she done? You understand? No, no, no. You mean you wrote to her? No, you, you wrote to her. No, no, no. You you have to no, 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 no. I think you, I you see, I didn't you want to go down this road. No, 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 this is below Then, I then you came, you have sat here and tried to position it that you in opposition were more proactive than I have been. I've not said so. That's what you're saying. I said this is what I did. I taking opportunity. I now made an absolute statement. I will show you. I did not show you the steps I've taken. an absolute so you wait. Okay. You wrote in opposition to so an NBC minister mm. asking for help, raising the needs of your fishermen. She did not call your bluff. She did not rubbish you. It's she did approach. not challenge you. She did not challenge you to go to court. Do you understand me? I am putting on record that as far back as 2017, when I was less than an a year in, in parliament as a member of parliament, I wrote to the minister. I didn't write alone to the minister. I got my leader who is a chief whip, the deputy majority ch minority chief whip, Honorable Konfordo Yogansa, who is also an MP from a fishing community. I said, maybe because I'm a first-time MP. At least she's a senior. She's a member of leadership in parliament. We did a joint letter together to the minister. We sent the letter to the minister. For six weeks, there was no response from the minister's office. At least you wrote to Sherry Aite. She invited for you what? and engaged What were you asking you for? Understand you understand said that. But first and foremost, at that time, the issue was about light fishing and the brutalization of our... Of our of, 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 of some of our fishermen. And the fact that some of our fishermen who were actually working with the ministry were not being equipped and they were going and they were being hurt on the instruction of the minister. I had to go and pay medical bills uh. for a team of fishermen that the minister had asked to go out to do enforcement without any, 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 any provision of logistics. There's no intervention. Afenyo, please. Uh, oh, Afenyo, I'm okay. showing you. you about your leader raised you, this on the floor. I am showing, showing you, you, I am showing no, 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 you okay, the I difference between, yes. between no, your are, government and our government. No, but I approach Sherry with humility. You see, uh, uh, I engaged Sherry. I, 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 what are you talking about? I didn't go there fighting. I we went fighting. I said we wrote a letter for six weeks. You didn't know, have a response. Allow Sam George You wrote a letter. You were invited. That's a different issue. I engaged her. I you see, so, 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 you see, I, for me, I could have gone all of this route, but when you sit here and try and paint the picture that you wrote to Sherry, and the NDC, well, I the mean, NDC is a, part, is a party, is a party, right? I engage if Sherry. If you guys will let me, I mean, I mean, and if and you engage your, your colleague, I think you do this, allow some, but you started, 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 you
We actually approached her in the chamber because she's a member in parliament, our, our colleague in the in parliament. Myself and the my, minority minority deputy chief whip walked up to her and said, Oh, honorable, we've written a letter to your office. Six weeks. You haven't responded. What is happening? She said she doesn't have time for us. Those were her exact words. Oh, okay. Those were her exact words. And, and, and okay. she was walking away. And do you even have to ask her and say, I'm a leader in parliament. I'm talking to you. If you don't have time here, give us an appointment for us to come. She told us she, won't, she doesn't have time. We should come to the ministry. If we meet her, we've met her. That was her approach. And that is the difference. So don't but, sit here and paint a okay. picture. And then, and then and, and right, please, all the things he has said, Afenu has not disputed the fact that the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, under the Nana Dedankwa Kufuado administration, has implemented a close season without a mitigation plan for fishermen. But they said if there is a mitigation, no, 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 mitigation. right. When there are mitigation policies by government, it is not left to a member of parliament or a DC to activate it. The ministry is proactive and rolls it out. You understand me? When the ministry has an intervention policy, the ministry is the one rolling out a closed uh, fishing season. Okay, so we've taken notice of the fact that there are 150 fishing communities across the country. Mm. So we are doing A, B, C in these communities. There is no such policy. Don't tell me that there are mitigation plans and then you go and then it is left to the whims and caprices of whoever is sitting in the office to decide what to give to you and what not to give to you. Don't say that we have not made approaches. Don't say we have not made efforts. We have written about premix. We've written about our body engines. The approach under this administration is completely different. And look, right, this is not akin to only the Ministry of Fisheries. When they started Operation Vanguard, what roadmap was put in place for the artisanal uh, 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 miners? What sustainable alternative, sustainable livelihood was put in there? This government operates on an ad hoc basis, and that is what this is. So my brother, you may have enjoyed what you enjoyed in opposition simply because you had ministers who knew that they were serving a country. The case today is you have ministers of, of state who are running this government, who are running and serving in government as though they are serving a party and not a government. I'm grateful. That's the reality of the case. Mm. Right. Is um, approach, I, I would not, uh, I, I don't have the permission. Right. right. Have, let's, 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 let's be the I mean, we, we, we can you want us to go right. on on this, right. there, there's, more, so. there's more right. details right. we can right. give about this matter. Right. I need to make it. I've tried not to make it about the minister, but if you continue on this, on this, on this tangent. Thanks, Vera. Right. I mean, on this platform. most unfortunate senior. On this platform. I don't want the impression to be created by my colleague that government officials have shut the doors on opposition members of parliament. That is the case. Well, well, that, well, that is, is the case. Well, is and I'm saying now, there is now, evidence now, of it. Now, now, I'm not saying okay. it alone. I'm not okay, saying it okay, in, okay, in, in okay, isolation. I'm saying that it you, happened you have, even with Doyo Gansa. You, you have made that point parliament. already, okay. so allow him to react. So, for the records, Honorable Doyo raised the issue of premix on the House floor, the minister responded positively. For the records, again, his respected senior has not come out to say that the issues she raised on the House floor for which the minister addressed are still pending. Well, I was with her in her constituency may, two let, let Tuesdays me, ago. Uh, with uh, President Mahama. No, you see, may the fact is, uh, I, I, mean, I mean, the point he's making are may not finish. matters of fact. You allow him. Yes. If he yes. makes may any facts, you, you disagree. May, I get you. May, may, may I finish? Okay, so that's fine. If I have my chance to react again, that's fine. I don't know if you want to please hurry up. Just 10 seconds. Two. When Sino Hydro projects were rolled out, they were not rolled out in. MPP, MPP areas where you say that the MP is an MPP, therefore it is the seat is held by an NDC. Government is not implementing anything there. The minority leader, his constituency, is seeing development as part of the the Sino Hydro what Initiative. What development? Again. Again, perhaps, perhaps, maybe the approach is what is creating a problem. I have no permission of colleagues of his who have gotten opportunities in this government for their communities. Okay. I don't have their permission to mention their names, so okay. I will not. But I think that ministers of state listening to this program, the Ministry of Information has heard what my colleague has said. Mm. I know, 
I know that within this week, at least from what he has just said, government officials will put out names of colleagues who have approached their colleagues in, ministry, in the ministry for intervention in their areas and get the fact out there because this is a very serious matter where my colleague is making a serious allegation that because he is in opposition or that many of his colleagues are not getting development into their areas because they are in opposition. The record will show that these are not factual. And okay. I know that You're very soon after answer this answer program, this, this fact okay, will be it should out. be put out. All yes, right. it is important. I, I'm grateful. It is important. I'm grateful. So I'm doing just 10 seconds and then I'll, I'll move on. <laughs> when my brother now wants to move about, move the discussion on accessing what is a common national cake mm. to humble approaches, <laughs> then it tells you that we're not running governance, but we're running a, ch a chieftaincy kind of system. When I make an official request on my official letterhead as a member of parliament to my colleague member of parliament who is given an opportunity to serve people in the ministry, I don't see what humble approach you're talking about. I've written a letter. I've written a letter drawing your attention to challenges in my constituency under your ministry. And you tell me you don't have time to even sit down to engage me. What is the humble approach here? At least have the courtesy to respond to my letter. Have the courtesy to respond to my letter. If you will not do that with me, if you are not aware, it is because of the lack of those letters, it is because of the, of, of the lack of opportunity to even sit down with the minister that the deputy minority chief whip had to resort to making a statement on the floor of the house. It is out of frustration. If the minister, colleague MPs do not like to summon our colleague ministers to parliament or make statements about them on the floor of the house. So your own admittance that Doyo had, Honorable Doyo had to make a statement on the floor of the house is testament to the fact that I'm making that, okay, say some judge is the problem. So Doyo also was not humble. Is that a submission, suggestion? It is because the minister okay. even refused to acknowledge receipt of our letters. We told her she didn't have time to sit down with her own colleagues to meet. And okay. that is why Doyo had to make a statement that you yourself admit. Okay. So you need to bear them, understand the fact that, look, and you can choose government. I'm challenging government. Government should put out their names. You say the honorable... Major, minority leader is, is getting projects because of what? And that's how you know Hydro. I'm challenging you. I was in Tamale recently. Okay. I was in Tamale last weekend. Which project? I'm grateful. Let, let's wait for the project. project. Which project is oh, uh, No, no, no. Right. I beg you. No, I want to let, let's wait. I'm challenging uh, my senior. No, no. no. We, no. My senior we, we, we approved it no, no. in parliament. Chief, we we, seen, the projects we seen, were listed. No. You see, this is, this is most okay. unfortunate. Sorry, so go ahead. You, you, have, you, you, you have been in parliament longer than me, at least four years longer than me. You know that there are several things Parliament has approved that have not seen the light of day. Mm. You have sat here and made a categoric statement that the minority leader is benefiting from the Sino Hydro project in his constituency. I am challenging Honorable Afenyo here, here and now to name one project that is well. ongoing in Tamalen uh, uh, South. Okay. There is none. Yeah, so, the man, no, I am, I am demanding him let's that because let's it is it is it is unfortunate that he will draw the Honorable Harun Idrisu into this matter and suggest that Honorable Harun Idrisu is benefiting from the Sino Hydro deal for his constituency when there is no such project. Okay. No such project. I am senior. grateful, sir. This is this is um, most unfortunate. Um, right. Uh, I am no. Uh, Adam, parliamentary uh, no, records. Honorable Mark, I am not listening to you again. I, 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 I am moving on. To show gentlemen, one, I am one, moving one on. Project uh, the interchange that 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 the, 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 uh, the uh, Tamale. Gentlemen, I, I have moved on. I, I am using your platform. You have viewers in Tamale. Yeah, we'll if there is <laughs> even <laughs> one shovel, one shovel. If there is one shovel in Tamale North now. Please send in a message. The, and uh, if it is uh, true, uh, that since President Akufuado left there, the, um, even the equipment that they hired for the day's celebration have been taken away, tell the people. Let's Let them talk send about, in the messages. I, I, I'm sure. Let's talk about Shatawali and Stoneboy. For Ball. what? Honorable members of parliament, let's talk about Shatawali and Stoneboy. <laughs> I know you, you don't want to behave like the, the, the two of them. <laughs> No, so we don't want to behave. We can't be. Can't you can't behave like, like, like that. We know our level. Okay. We, we can't <laughs> behave like that. <laughs> you know your levels. But are we? Uh, uh, one of the market. Are we? Are we getting? Uh, are we getting off track with what is happening? Well, um, you see, I've just read that the police uh, mm. arrested them. Yeah, they did. And uh, I don't know whether they've been detained. I heard what, this. What would have been uh, yes. released, and that the, that they the were whole weekend back was a busy weekend for me. Mm. 
uh, on my way back to Accra at midnight, I, I heard this matter on BBC. Mm. Yeah. And I felt very disappointed that um, with all the good things that the government is doing and with all the successes they themselves are achieving uh, in their own uh, uh, profession, they would allow this to happen. Well, there should be cool heads. Mm. The unnecessary rivalry will not help, all right? And uh, pulling a gun or doing a thing like this, going to and attempting to attack a colleague and all that will not help the industry. They make their bread from the industry. Right. They are more or less denying themselves their own bread. Because when you create that inertia, when you create that non-interest in your, in your own uh, field of vocation, then you are inviting hunger onto yourself and onto your family. So I'll plead with those in that uh, field, managers, bodyguards, uh, praise singers, and all that. They should, they should know and know better. Um, we don't have to create any uh, necessary impression about ourselves. Mm. It, it will not help. Uh, huh? Let me also mm. urge the police to do what is expected of them. Mm. Um, again, the police uh, uh, is saying that uh, in future, it's going to take charge of the security uh, of, of such events, mm. um, screening and all that. So that should be it. Now, let me conclude with this uh, uh, matter. Um, the fact that we demand something of right doesn't mean that we demand it anyhow. We demand it of right, but we must also create a relationship, a relationship that would enable us to achieve appropriate results, expected results. If you, have, uh, if you have your certificate and you are so qualified to lead people as president, DC, MC, MP, you engage them. Explain why you want to serve them. You don't just say that you are a lawyer, somebody is a form for liver, so you're entitled. You know, you may have issues. Okay. So I would want to plead with uh, my colleague. Um, I do not think that the impression created that um, uh, he's written and he's oh, been shouting. You're, you're, and you're, you're, all you're taking that us back to that was, issue. Was most appropriate. I, I thought I had. I know, I know the Minister of Fisheries is a nice person. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know she, and she knows. And he knows, for Futu. And he knows that you have taken she us is back a very to nice person. The, the, the first no, but it, it wouldn't be fair to, create, to, to, we'll, to, to we'll tell we'll the world that your colleague. We will wrap up on that. And the minister we'll, is snobbish. It is not fair. We'll, we'll, we'll and, wrap and up. I on think that. that even if there was some misunderstanding of a sort, uh, some will find a way of dealing with it. He's, he's capable. We'll wrap up on he's that. Capable. Honorable Sam George. Was it fair for uh, you to suggest that uh, I have. No, I made an absolute statement. And if in any way. No, right, let me apologize to him. Right, right, let me apologize to him. I've now gotten the drift. If, Sam, you know I have utmost respect for you, if in my submission, I in any way created the impression that you are not doing your work well. I retract, I apologize to you. I was making an absolute statement. Okay. I didn't in any I'm way. I'm grateful. You know, <laughs> try, I didn't in any I'm way. Grateful. I don't know, like I'm grateful. Making a comparison, I, trying to say that you have not made an effort. Okay. So if, if you have made an effort on Maslock, let the records. Uh, 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 the public know. Okay. If you have not, I'm then grateful. make I don't the know effort. I'm grateful. Let me get some judges. Um, uh, what's happened uh, right. over the weekend? Right. And, no, we are I solving a problem. We'll He's my friend. On that. No, no, we've been business I friends. We've been market. political know, friends. But we can't allow us to solve our problem. When we are running, you keep quiet. You and solve the me. problem allow when I've closed the show. I've closed the show. Yes, when I've closed the show. Please. I'm asking, has it written to my your microphone is off. Don't put it off. It is off. It will be unfair to me. No, it is off now. ask my question I said when we are wrapping up, we wrap up on that issue. You. No one can well. hear you. No problem. Ask him for me. And I was George. Right. Sata and then the uh, the the, 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 the mafia guy. By your head, me. Oh God. Huh? Right. You. <laughs> let me let me state that I've been in this industry before. Mm. I mean, at a point in time in my life, I 
I was into events and um, entertainment and all okay. that. Yeah. And so and I've, engaged, I've engaged them. I mean, yeah. in 2009, I did what was arguably the biggest rave in, Cent in Cape Coast. You know, at that time, Sarkodie was a very skinny young guy who had now come up. <laughs> he had just done, uh, he had done Baby, the Baby song yeah. with uh, Mugis yeah. of ROTBs. Yes, and ROTBs yeah. had just done Ademado, Ade Go Crazy. That was actually the team uh, song for the, the, the campus rave that we did in at Elmina Beach Resort. And so, I mean, I engaged, I've engaged these guys, JSO, Skillions, and all of that. And I think that they have done fantastic work for themselves. Stone Boy has emerged under the tutelage of Samini and become a household name himself. Um, Charles Niyama Mensa was known when I was in the university as Bandana. The Shatta man. No, Stone... Uh, the, yes, sh the yes, shutter, the shutter. As bandana. <laughs> yeah. You know, he went into a beef at that time with a couple of people, yeah. left the scene, and I think he's done fantastic work with his rebranding as Shatawale. The way and manner in which he goes about some of his stuff, is it the best? Could it be better? Is it the best portrayal of our Ghanaian music? That's out for the public to judge. But I think that at on the, the platform which was afforded the two gentlemen, mm. Shata and Stoneboy, on, on, on Saturday, the VGMA's 20th anniversary should not have gone down this road. I mean, I've been very critical of Shatter House with some of the things they've done, but this year, from what I have gathered mm. from industry players, they, 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 they went all out. I mean, they wanted to give us a proper showcase and celebration of Ghanaian music. And I feel bad for them that this year when everything seems to have been on track, I mean, media was on point. We had TV3 carrying it live. And, and let me say thank you to TV3. In fact, the airtime, the value of airtime that TV3 committed to this event is more than government has spent. This government has spent since 2017 on the, on the, on the, on the entertainment sector. If we quantify the value of the airtime TV3 spent, on VGMA's 20, 20, 20, uh, 2019 is more than the MPP government has spent on the whole entertainment sector for two and a half years. So thank you to you. DSTV also put us all, uh, uh, across the whole, the whole of Africa. Mm -hmm. It was being carried live, streamed on multiple platforms. And, and for me, it was a shame that we had what we saw there. Um, we've had a lot of post-facto rationalization. Oh, I was going to congratulate. Oh, I thought my life was, was, was at risk. I have always maintained, and I mean, I won't run away from it. I've done a Facebook post mm. stating that I believe that everybody is entitled to self-defense um, in the face of provocation. However, I still think, and I've had ACP Kofi, um, Kofi my very good friend, is actually my constituent. He lives in my constituency. ACP, I've not forgotten about your road there. Eh? We'll still work something out about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the road to his house is quite bad. But... <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, but are you saying you should come to Wilva? <laughs> I'm asking. You have worse roads. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, but, but are you but, saying you should come to Wilva? Oh no, no, we're happy to to accommodate him, and he's happy to be with us in 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 Ningo Pram Pram. But I th I still think that there must have been a set, there should have been a certain amount of intelligence done there. Watching at home, hmm? and following social media alone. Mm. About 30 minutes before this fracas broke out, I was watching at home with my wife. And there I were said to hints her, of that coming? Oh, the threats had been multiple. I mean, <laughs> anybody who had followed social media, there were threats. And even that evening at the, at the venue, there were threats issued by one camp to another camp. People had actually, one of the artists had actually gone on, air to stay, uh, gone on social media and had been captured by many news portals that if he did not win a particular Category be, be trouble. that there was going to be trouble. I mean, and so the police hmm. and intelligence units, you see, we've taken this thing for granted. Oh, they are musicians, it's just beef. But hmm. this is what led to Tupac and Biggie, yeah. <laughs> Christopher Wallace in the US. And the two gentlemen themselves may never go a certain or cross a certain threshold, but the fans who follow them, the fans who follow them, the, the brawls that would happen. It's important that we, we look to de-escalate. I have okay. seen that um, Stoneboy has issued a statement apologizing for his role. I think that 
He still owes a lot. And my advice to Stone, especially, who is a personal friend, Shata is also a friend, but my advice to Stone is that he should bear in mind his brand. At times, you need to, you need to look at, you need to weigh the cost. Mm. I can understand. Your accent. Yes, I can understand his apprehension. His, okay. wife, his wife had been stabbed. I'm sure mm. Ibafenyo's yeah. wife had been stabbed over something. And you see a repeat action coming, you will want to, to take a setting. Yes, but, okay. but I mean, Let's Stone Boy, what Shatter, our are all of them, they, yeah. must, they, must, they must exercise a certain level of restraint. Mm. And, and I think that the police should just apply the law. The okay. law should work. Okay, Johnny, let's take some comments okay. and then mm. we'll wrap up the conversation. We'll, we'll start off. But so bigger, bigger, before Johnny comes in, yeah. big ups to Samini. Yeah. Samini Dagati. Yeah. I, was, I was paying that he didn't win anything on the night, but <laughs> Samini restored some setting level of pride. <laughs> True. at that show yeah. if Samini had not done his performance the day, the way he did it that day well, big ups master yeah. respect Samini okay he, he, he's still the water just like this is an industry player <laughs> yeah. exactly so I, I agree with Sam George uh, Sam is an industry the, player. Samini brought some level of calmness <laughs> and and sanity to the conference center but at the time all the dignitaries had left because there was pepper spray yeah. and shocker yeah. and guns and blows but this is uh, what Tilapia has got to say. Uh, he says that uh, Samini show that calmed the VGMA storm. And there you have it. Uh, sanity must prevail. The police must deal with the issues. Okay, let's go to WhatsApp straight ahead and hear what you, you've been saying to us. It says it's sad for the government to initiate the closed season without alternative livelihood. The fishing communities are poor and this decision would worsen the already hard uh, economic plight. I suggest the government should introduce allowances to the fishermen during the off-season. Mustafa Takradi, well, the fishermen must also learn to save. Good morning, Senior Bright. Uh, our designer fishermen do not drag fishing. Uh, they do not do drag fishing, I beg your pardon. This government has no social intervention program for the fisher folks. The fisheries minister has totally failed. And please, visit our fishing... Uh, our coast and see uh, our brothers in the industry they've been left stranded what uh, have they implemented they have implemented and think they have done something better i tell you uh, work done is zero how can you ban fish fishing in our country seawater and allow foreigners to fish in that same water oh shatawali and stone boy please can somebody tell me what is wrong with these boys because if these things happen it's a disgrace so far as ghana music is concerned so these two musicians should learn uh, how to control themselves. Ah, this is total disgrace. Mm, Ernest in Takrady. And uh, good morning, Johnny and Senior Bright. Two wrongs don't make a right. Both Shatter and Stone Boy were wrong, considering the, uh, the cause at uh, the VGMA uh, fallouts was created, created by Shatter. While it's high time, Ghanaian musicians learn to be role models. This is from uh, Ishmael Achara. Uh, Mystic is that is Roma Dewey uh, Jury says the unfortunate incident that happened at the VGMA is condemnable, but uh, all ends up with the unprecedented insecurity and Ananado and his government. I predicted somebody was going to say this, and you have said it. Uh, we hope and pray Stonebo and Shatawale face the law of the land to serve as deterrent to others. We are not safe under Ananado and cannot sleep with our eyes closed. Okay. Uh, good morning. With much respect, what Honorable Marquis is saying is not true. No project is ongoing in Tamale South, which has been financed by the central government. And he thinks he should uh, mention, if, well, he says you should mention them. He's daring you. <laughs> Mohamed Awal Idris in uh, Nyanshegu. Good morning to you, Bright and Sam. Um, as Sam said, there's no half inch block. That is ongoing under the Sino Hydro projects in Tamale South. I live in Yohini and the Tamale South constituency. And what Stone Boy did is self defense because of the gun. Shatawale uh, makes a U turn on the stage, summit in Tamale. Emilia Naswazi said our current information minister should come out and apologize to the former minister for lying against him. It is not surprising that every unfortunate thing happening in this country, MPP finds a way to put it uh, on the past administration. Hashtag focus. Uh, you say Bim was defending himself because of the reaction Shatter brought on stage. Mr. Host, uh, what Honorable Sam say, say, said is true. Uh, there's no such project in Tamale South. The salt cutting was done in Tamale Central by the president. Even nothing is happening. The Honorable Afejo should directly speak to issues and stop that meandering. Uh, the ban of fishing for one month might bring a good outcome, but it's not a well thought out. Uh, plan or initiative uh, before implementing Kwekumusa Akono in Community 2. And finally, uh, Sam George has, by his comments, demonstrated that he is just an armchair MP. If he was denied help, it means his negotiation skills are very poor. 
He should stop playing the victim and humble himself in order to get help from his people. Desmond, uh, who played Bato in Volta Region. Uh, but anyway, uh, but later on in the show, Sina Bright will be discussing the VGM in yes, total. Yes. I want to know why we had not a single scanner at the gates, yet we had armed <laughs> security personnel okay. there. Not a single scanner. Okay. 5,000 people in there. And the ministers and special guests from across the, the world had to move away when the pepper spray got in there because they okay. were all often. Grateful, Johnny. Let me get a number of your marking and a number of some to now uh, patch up. They said they need that time to patch up, so you can patch up now. Oh, oh I think <laughs> that you said you, yeah, I said I'll give you that time. Oh, okay. Well, no, no. I'm, I think I apologize to him ah, for okay. I mean, so that's getting right. getting getting okay. getting me wrong, and I also wanted to know from him whether or not he's uh, approached Maslow. <laughs> the women groups, the fishmongers. I love that. No, no, no. I want can, to know. You can, you can speak to Sticker. You can speak to Sticker. No, no, I don't and know. Find out I want him. to find and out. And find out from him if I've engaged him or not. Okay. And, but, but you see, no, right, I just want one to of the, one key thing, one key thing that we must be minded about from mm. what happened at the BGM is, is to take security very seriously. That's all in this, in this, in this era of the heightened security alertness in the sub region, it is again telling that our police service did not deem it fit to do scanning of individuals mm. going into a place that was going to have that number of people anywhere you are going to have a congregation of over 300 people right now must be seen as a potential hotspot in the country and we must scan those places i mean look at tv3 i want to believe that afenio Markin was stopped his car was searched yeah. was scanned I mean, I, ca I come here how many times? The security people ought to know me, mm. but they constantly do their job because that's what they've been paid to do. Our police service must also up the ante. And as citizens, please let us be cooperative with the police. When the police wants to search, okay. please let's allow them to search. So grateful. when the police invite you, don't make it partisan. I'm not going to say your marking. Today is Monday. Are, I no, no, but he says we should be good citizens. He's MP for a footu. A member of he the He says that when MP the police team. invite me, Alexander for your marking. I am in court with Sam you. Sam George is the MP for the Negro Pam Pam. A member of the NDC. But you say that as that Gentlemen, have a fantastic Monday morning. Is that is that We hope You should be advising the CID of police and giving her hope. You have promised not to go the way the two gentlemen went. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. I don't know more than one In this case, I don't know who Coming up. Good morning. <laughs> but last week, last Friday, the 17th of May, Community Connect was out there at the LECMA. We went to discuss a couple of issues and a mop up of some of the issues we had discussed with them a few months earlier. There's evidence that most of the assemblies and, in fact, the persons with disability are not pretty much aware of the guidelines of the 3% allocation of the common fund for persons with disabilities. So this morning, we've been joined by Abdul Wahab. He is the uh, Media and Communications Manager for the Ghana Federation of Persons with Disabilities. Abdul, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Morning, How are you doing, my brother? I'm good. Good to you? see you. I'm good. So last Friday, uh, it became evident that most of the persons with disability are not even aware of your guidelines, which you have stated, which will let them benefit from the 3% allocation. Why is that so? <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much to your viewers and listeners as well. Uh, what I must say is that, um, yes, when we had the guidelines put in place mm -hmm. in uh, 2010, we have had a lot of community engagement on the guidelines, but unfortunately we had not been able to cover the whole uh, country. Why? What I think, um, you know, what we did was we visit districts where we have uh, activities or programs okay. running. Mm. But one thing I think we should have also done there was just like uh, we are sitting here today discussing mm. Mm. Uh, this issue. The guidelines could have been educated. Uh, people could have been educated on the guidelines mm. through the media and then uh, whatever. So honestly, yes, the guidelines do exist, but. Uh, I must say that it's not all districts that are very aware of the of the. Of what the what is keeping you from making everybody aware? Uh, people who must benefit from it, and I mean, at, at Letma, for example, we had a lot of people come. Uh, they were asking for things, um, begging for it, when in fact they have a right by law and by your guidelines to demand for those things and get them. Yeah, you see, one thing that is also making it difficult for the guidelines to reach all persons with disabilities is that 
the common fund is for all persons with disabilities, right. whether one belongs to an association or organization or not. So, of course, I believe that those who actually belong to organizations and are part mm. of organizations are aware okay. of the guidelines. Mm. But those who do not belong to any organization mm. might not be aware of the guidelines. Mm. And these are the people who might complain that they do not know anything about the guidelines. Mm. Yes, I do agree that we have not been able to do very extensive engagement. And mm. I do also believe that uh, uh, people who belong to organizations of persons with disabilities are certainly aware of those guidelines. The, the call is for everybody to be involved. Yeah. Inclusivity is key. How do we rope in uh, these people who don't belong to associations? What's your plan? Yeah, um, the plan we have is that usually when we have um, engagement with uh, persons with disabilities who belong to mm. organizations, we do invite people who do not belong to any organizations mm. and let them understand uh, issues around disabilities mm. as well as their rights and then uh, uh, their rights in society. Mm. So the plan is involving them whether they belong to organization or not. How soon is this plan workable? It's an ongoing process. Even yesterday. Give me timelines, Abdul. Uh, you know, uh, this, is, this, is, this is an advocacy issue. And uh, usually, we do not have, uh, let's see, whether either we have, uh, that is the short term, medium term or long term. Do you term. have a plan, Abdul? Yes. Does your we, federation we, have a plan to bring everybody on board on the same you know, page so that when they go uh, to the assemblies and something is going wrong, they know this is not there, this is it. This is what my guideline says. Do you have a plan? Yeah, yes, we do have a plan. And the plan is even enshrined in the new, in the, in the revised what do you call it? Guidelines. Mm. We are. We have realized that uh, there are some lapses in the current guidelines. Mm. Now we have uh, had a lot of engagement around the guidelines, and then uh, it is on it, or it is at its final point where we have to engage the minister for um, rural government, mm. and then uh, or this uh, minister for lo local mm. government mm. and rural development to uh, append her signature on it mm. for rush to begin using it. And per that guidelines, mm. um, we need to do sensitization. Right. Everybody, including the assemblies, persons with disabilities, mm. as well as the fan management committees. And at this time, the, this, uh, the National Council on Persons with Disability <laughs> will champion that cost. These things you're talking about is yeah. in your present guidelines. Yeah. Uh, passed in 2010 or adopted in 2010. Yeah. And so reprinting them won't change the situation on the ground, Abdul. It is not about reprinting. It is about because your, your current guideline says you have to sensitize the people about their rights as persons with disability. You're telling me that it's been refreshed and you're going to bring this out. You're waiting for a signature. But what will change on the ground? That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, but the we might also agree and understand that, of course, the sensitization is ongoing. As I said earlier, it's only probably those who do not belong to any organization of persons with disabilities who mm. might not be aware of the guidelines. So it is about we reaching out to all persons with mm. disabilities. And I'm asking you, when do you, plan, that, do, do you have a, a timeline, a calendar to say in January, between January and June, we're going to do southern sector. We're going to travel to A, B, C, D. Uh, between July and December, we're going here. Do you have a calendar like that? Do you, honestly? Yeah, honestly, we do have a calendar. But the difficulties in putting out this issue here is about um, people who do not belong to any organization. You keep it go, is very, you keep yes, I want, to be, I want you to be sure that. The, the guidelines that you have now talks about both individuals and groups benefiting yes, from it. But then so, let, me, let, me, let me just come out So why, why, why are you pushing people into let me just come. Let me just come here. For example, if I am going to the streets mm. to meet those who are begging and tell them that, okay, there is a, 
uh, common fund for persons with disabilities. And these mm. are the guidelines. Don't you think it will be very difficult to just go to the streets and ha then have begin you tried, talking to Have you people? tried it and it didn't work? Have you tried speaking to the people on the streets and it didn't I work? I tried, yes. And it didn't work? It didn't work. Some people even think that once you are talking about the common fund, it is like uh, something I will just go to the assembly and ask, and they will give it to me to go and buy Your, your, your present guidelines it's doesn't you know? have sanctions for people who uh, flout your guidelines. It doesn't have any sanction at all. Does the new one have any sanctions, punitive action that must be taken of against people who misapply funds, who don't retire their accounts, who don't present their reports as it says in there? Yes, the new, the new ones, uh, the revised one, let me say the revised mm. one has those ones. It because, has those uh, ones. Yeah, so that, uh, because we realized that earlier assemblies and even persons with disabilities themselves who have received the funds, Sometimes they misappropriate it or misapply mm. it. And then when there are no sanctions, people will continue to still live on that same behavior. Mm. So the, the new guidelines or the revised ones has made a provision for that. The, the splinter groups, one of the issues we realized at um, LECMA was that there were a lot of groups. You know, somebody comes up, forms a group. Somebody comes up, forms a group. So within a small place, you have like pockets of groups there. And they say that is not helpful. They agreed it is not helpful to their cause. As the Federation, uh, how are you trying to harmonize things so we don't have pockets of groups everywhere? Okay, issues relating to the common fund is not about groups. But then when you see a group of people or somebody forming a group, and they're using the group to extort money from the, the common fund, I want to see that uh, it, is, it is wrong. But then, once that the report has come out, the Federation will also uh, do some research work there mm -hmm. or some investigations mm -hmm. there to ascertain some of these facts. Then we engage with the assembly, mm -hmm. persons with disabilities, and those forming the group, mm -hmm. and then make sure that we are all mm -hmm. at one page. It, it comes back to the point we're raising earlier, yeah. that you say it's easier to educate the people using the groups, and then on the other side, you are saying that the groups may have their disadvantage. Where do we draw the fine line, Abdul? You see, when we are talking about groups and we are talking about associations or organizations, mm. we need to look at the differences over there. Mm. For example, we have Ghana uh, Association of Persons with Albinism, mm. which is an organization of persons with albinism. Right. Then we have... a. Uh, Let's say we have organizations that are legally recognized in the country. Right. That is different from me just forming up, uh, getting up today and see mm. that I have a group called Concern Albinus. Whether it is registered, it is recognized mm. or not, I want to say that maybe my affiliation with somebody somewhere, I have the right to extort money from the funds. We are looking at these differences. Okay. So that's, that's, that's your approach now? Yeah. Abdul, thank you very much indeed. And we hope that the new guideline... When is it up, the new guideline? Um, let me give you up to July. July. Uh, it should be out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. This conversation has been made possible by Star Ghana Foundation. With thanks to Danida, the European Union and UK Aid. My guest has been Abdul Wahab. He is the spokesperson or the media and communications manager for the Ghana Federation of Persons with Disabilities. We'll return with more here. We'll be talking about the VGMA some more and asking the critical questions. Stay with us. So last Saturday, uh, almost a Sunday morning, after the brawl on the stage at the VGMA, the 20th anniversary of same, uh, Concept Warai spoke with some of the patrons about what they had seen and what they had experienced, and the exact thoughts are on your screen right now. <laughs>
the show has come to an abrupt end. Over one particular category, the Reggae Dance Hall Artist of the Year, Stoneboy was announced winner of this very category. We saw Satawale also walk up stage. I don't know what he was going to do there, but it was confusing. And because of that, the event is on hold right now. So that was what happened at the VGM. It's very embarrassing for, for the fact that it was showing across the world on 49 different television stations. And the BBC has been covering it and uh, commenting on the negative thing that happened there. The sponsors, I'm sure they're uh, biting their nails. The Charterhouse as well. But most importantly, there were 5,000 people in the auditorium at the time. Uh, security concerns coming up shortly. But I'm sure you also are aware th at this point that Stoneboy, the Bennington Music Group, uh, his management have issued a statement signed by him, says uh, un unreserved apology for unfortunate VGMAs. And as I'd like to extend my sincerest apologies and deepest regrets for the part, uh, for, my, for the part my conduct played at what should have been the biggest celebration of Ghana music last night. I'm seeking uh, to entertain Ghanaians. I have been a victim of incessant vilification and physical attacks in recent time. My own dear wife has in the past suffered a knife attack at a concert, an attack that has been meant to uh, for me and which resulted in her being uh, rushed to a hospital. This for me has been a quite alarming uh, with regards to security. Such unfortunate incidents have a clearly have clearly had an impact on the se sense of alertness of my entire team and I. And uh, Violence can easily result in trauma, especially violence against those closest to us. Stoneboy is very respectful and well-mannered musician, highly spoken of among his equals and masses, but locally, both locally and internationally, due to the high level of respect I show to all and the high levels of com uh, comportment coupled with hard work. I've been going through difficult times despite the gains my team and I have made musically in raising high the flag of Ghana and also at the 20th v Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. I however accept that no matter the provocation, there must be an attempt to remain calm. I'm taking remedial measures to ensure that there will never be a repetition of such actions. These include improving the security measures within my team. There are these immediate actions are to ensure that such acts do not recur, not in any way, uh, nor in any way affect my uh, person or profession. It is my ardent hope that the show will be remembered uh, for the showcase and appreciation of talent and not a few minutes of regretful haywire. I will continue working with Charterhouse and hope this won't in any way affect my relationship with them. To Vodafone Ghana, my sincerest apology to you for bringing your brand to a low moment like this. As artists, uh, we appreciate what you invest and continue to invest in our talents. We hope you will co continue to support Ghanaian music. To all Ghanaians, uh, let's come together in unity and rise above fueling needless rivalries. I urge all fans to keep calm and desist from all forms of violence. The stone boy, you know, uh, always comes in peace, and I will always advocate for peace. Livingston, uh, Satekla, CEO of Bennington Music Group, he signed that. But on the back of that as well, Charter Houses issued a statement uh, apologizing to everybody else. It says, uh, the management of Charterhouse, uh, as headlined uh, is uh, uh, titled uh, Charterhouse Condemns Unruly Behavior at the 2019 Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. It says the management of Charterhouse production wishes to apologize unreservedly on behalf of and on behalf of the board of the uh, 2019 VGMA to patrons and millions of viewers uh, on television and social media in Ghana and all over the world for security breach that marred the event in the wee hours of Sunday, May 19, 2019 at the premises of the 
Accra International Conference Center. They have apologized to their media uh, team. They have apologized to the Honorable Minister for uh, Tourism and uh, Arts and Culture, the Honorable Minister for Information, uh, uh, Foreign Affairs, the Honorable George, and the Deputy for Communication, and all those international people who were there to support them. I've also apologized to Mobo, to Kanye uh, King, to Sony Music, to The Orchard, uh, Philip. Uh, Phil Phillips, Alison, our friends from Barbados and Vodafone as well. They're saying that subsequently they will tighten security and ensure that such unfortunate things do not happen again. Okay, so there you have it. Samini, after that brawl, was brought on and he had to uh, bring the crowd back on. But I've been joined this morning by Papa Kofi Abronoma. Uh, he is the host of Unia FM's Drive, uh, Bisebi. And uh, also, uh, Steve, he works with Addison Productions Limited. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. And later, I'm sure we can get onto the phone line and uh, speak with a lawyer and ask uh, two quick questions. What charges uh, will Shatawale or, uh, and Stone Boy possibly, uh, what charges could they possibly be facing uh, at this point? We understand that they are in police custody. And will this have any dire consequences legally of their careers? But Papa Kofi, I'll start with you. You were there yeah. uh, closer to, to the, the haywire as it happened. Mm -hmm. I was there as well, but I was backstage. Yeah. And I saw from a distance what happened. Yeah. But what did you see? I think when Shatter came in, and he'd got into a water already, and he wasn't in. And then he entered, so he took the shine. And there was a performance when right. he was entering. Mm. Then, you know, no, they normally sit at the front, but he didn't sit at the front mm. where he went to sit. Exactly. He wasn't supposed to be where he had to sit. And, and, and that was because he came late, so his I, seat yeah, wasn't available taking, at the time. Yeah. And for me, my problem is when Stone Boy was announced, as the winner, when Abeku came, even there was a production mishap with the, right. when Chairman General called uh, Abeku to, uh, mm. to come, that wasn't the general he was supposed to announce. And then when Abeku came and did the correction, and the moment you mentioned Stone Boy, he went up with his people to the stage, mm. and then he was making the sign, I've collected it five times, five okay. times. And then somebody whispered in his ears. Okay. I didn't whispered into whose ears? Stone Boy's okay. ear. I don't know what he said. Mm. And then we saw Shatter getting up with all his people, and people were clearing the way, and they were mm. getting on the, onto the stage. That was my They were my clearing problem. the way as in pushing people? He was coming, yes. Okay. When he was going out, I was standing there. They pushed me aside. When he was leaving right. the stage, okay. outside, they pushed me aside and went there. But w my problem is from where he was sitting, when he walked, all the way to the stage. Mm. That was my issue. That was your, your issue with it. Steve, the commentary following this unfortunate incident has been uh, very varied, if you ask me. I don't know what you think as an industry player, but did we need this at this time when the world was watching? Um, okay, first of all, I think um, it's very disgraceful for the world to be watching Ghana as a country with one of the biggest events we have so far go like that. But then I don't also want to apportion blame, but I think Chatterhouse should have known better because they invested a lot into this event. I mean, being an event organizer myself, I know what goes into event organization. Yeah. And when I got to the grounds, everything was spot on, including okay. security, including setup, everything was fantastic. So, so what should they have known better? Okay, what they should have known was that I think security, everybody is talking about bad security. Mm. I think security was tight, but the security, the security weren't trained enough for such incidents. How, how do you make that conclusion? Okay, so there is a security on stage. There is a security in front of the stage to block people that are not supposed to get on mm. the stage. Now, if you, if you watched clearly, when Stoneboy was getting onto the stage after him being mentioned reggae dancer artist of the year, the security made sure that him and his people that were supposed to be on the stage were the only people that were allowed in right. there, which means that security was spot on. But when it got to Shatterstand and then he was climbing up the stage, the security was still there. Mm. But because of the force they were coming in, the security started pulling back. Right. I mean, they were supposed to have some kind of a barrier formation to, to curb such incidences mm. in order not to allow people that are coming in with such force, right. especially in a group like mm. that. And you know, I mean, SM fans, when they are coming, they are not going to come 
in a in a dull way. They are mm -hmm. going to hit hard. Let's look at international best practice. But yeah. what is it? How, how does it happen elsewhere? If you are called up stage for to receive an award, yeah. what happens elsewhere? You go, you go on stage. And probably, yeah, I was thinking probably go with your manager or about two or three people. But for Ghana, I think it's been a culture that's been with that. Even with parliamentary vetting. Right. When they are going, they want to go with the chiefs of the whole area, probably about five or six from the constituency. Okay. You've, you are going to collect an award. Do you need all those people around? And I think there are rules. And I don't know no, whether you have it on the yeah, phone. Yeah, and you, know. you should have it. Right. And it's stated there. This number of people should be on stage with right. you. They shouldn't go beyond. And the stage is there. You allow all of them to be on stage. That's my problem. It's not done elsewhere. So, so uh, what I what I picked is that uh, in in other jurisdictions, you will find that it's it's a production gap. Yes, that's what happened. Yeah, because the speeches are rehearsed. Yeah, they are put on a prompter. Uh, and if you the want to go limits. up on stage and yeah. everything, it's, it's yeah. well noted. Well but then we have heard also that uh, many are saying that Shatawali said he was going up there to congratulate uh, <laughs> Stone Boy. How do we I marry mean, the two? I mean, that is extremely where I have the problem with. Okay, so Johnny, imagine when Stone Boy was on stage, Shata stood up, started applauding, and walking up to the stage. Okay. Wouldn't he have created that impression in people's minds? Okay. And Stoneboy himself in his mind that, oh, Shatter is applauding to me. Mm. So it means he's up here to congratulate me. But then you walk up to the stage with an angry facial expression. Okay. What do you expect? This guy is not your friend. Mm. So if you're walking up like that with a highly contested, I mean, category like that between the two. Right. Meanwhile, there's a feud between the two. Okay. And you're walking up the stage. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to justify that what Stoneboy did in mm. return. But I see him as a married man first. Okay. A father of two kids. So in any instance, he's supposed to protect himself in order to keep his family safe. Without recourse to whatever image he creates exactly. afterwards. Ex he shouldn't care At about Your the family image. comes first. Every man knows that. As soon as how, you, how do you feed your family if you have no job? I mean, definitely there is a plan, there is a life plan, but then you, 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 you need to protect yourself and mm. protect your family too as well because I don't think him, him getting up from home to mm. the event grounds telling the wife, oh, I'm just going to see if I will receive some awards and come back home. And then the next thing is he was gunned down, he was being mobbed or anything happens mm. of that sort. I mean, it would be a big blow to the family. But I said this four years ago that we're sitting on a time bomb. How, how big has the bomb become now? Because uh, when it started, I mentioned that, look, this is dangerous. This is not Ghanaian. And I was told by somebody suppose big wig in the industry that oh it's part of the dance or culture it's, mm -hmm. the beef is good for the industry <laughs> how big has this bomb become you see it, it, it depicts what we've mm -hmm. done as a nation as a country what we've lost you mentioned culture i'm so excited since when did we start to infuse hip-hop into our culture since when did you start to bring dance or into our music genre what we know is highlight for me even this time around if you give the Highest High Life Award, the song, to a dance hall king. What are you to trying? What are you trying to tell the other people? Okay. It's very easy for those engaged in dance hall and other to be carrying guns. I mean, that's their culture. Go to Jamaica, go to the U.S. The hip hop industry, guns is no problem. You know, just was it early this year mm. when they started this radio thing about uh, Peter with, and then it got to a point in time we had to mention. Um, LK right. and then Obrafo, mm. Lord Kenya and Obrafo, where did they lead to? So Shatawale manages to have a fight with almost everybody. The fight was between Shata, the feud was between Shata and Samini. Mm. And then Samini takes Stoneboy as a boy, I'm grooming okay. you. He signs on to the high grade family. Mm. The guy comes up, and now that attention shifts to uh, Stoneboy Stone Boy. because and, he's and, that's, and that's where we are. Let's, talk about, we are. Let, let's talk about the people who were in there. You say security was tight. Yeah. I, I disagree. Uh, yeah, even largely from the entrance. Because okay. I wasn't scanned not even once. Even from mm -hmm. the entrance. I wasn't scanned yeah. not even oh, once. You were in scan. Yes, I was that, in scan. That's the problem. I mean, so so now scanned? so now let's talk about five thousand people yeah. in there. Yeah. Pepper spray, blows, guns, shocker. 
what do you say? Closely, we're, we're closing now. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, we're ending. The, the policeman wasn't chained, well, the one who fired the warning shot. Okay. He created the confusion. The pandemonium. Yes. You think so? Yes. Okay. Because if you look at them, when CD was trying to stop them, and then the people started coming in, the security detail around, instead of creating the barrier, they were going back, right? They were going on the left side, and then the man takes a gun and fires a warning shot. And that created the melee. Okay. Finally, for you, uh, we're wrapping up. We're okay, until so our time is up. Yeah, uh, okay. My final words I think uh, we play too much. We take a lot of things for granted. Uh, we don't pay attention to details. We feel we do things over and over, so we should be able to get it as easy as we've been doing it. Okay. I think our security personnel needs proper training. Okay. I mean, I would lament on this any day, any time. Security is not, it's not about muscles. No, it's not uh, about uh, muscles. Big body it, it, is about it, it's about brain work. Common it's, sense and intelligence. Thank you very much. Papa Kofi Abraham, he is the host of uh, BCB on uh, New FM. You can listen to him every day at 4 p.m., uh, near 95.1 FM, and Steve works with Adisa Productions Limited. If you're looking to produce some very great documentaries and commercials and all of that, look for them. My name is Johnny Hughes, and that's where the cookie crumbles today. And uh, uh, we'll look at the VGMA issue sometime later, some more with a, a lawyer. But as I always say, it's Monday. Know that if you can think it and your heart can believe it, only you can achieve it.